Okay, so it is time to harvest the tomatoes and I'm gonna be making roasted tomatoes and I'm gonna be turning it into spaghetti sauce. I'm so excited. Hi, we are Luke and Heather Bell and we have eight children and we are just the Bell's 10. It's time to start picking tomatoes. Um, we still have quite a few that are not ripe yet. Here's all my tomatoes. Um, look at all these pans. Look at all those pans in there. Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes everywhere, 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 everywhere. So I'm picking them. I'm sun drying. Sun, I'm not sun. I am oven roasting them. I already picked a bowl and I'm not even close. So I'm going to pick my bowls and head over to the house and start roasting these. And then I'm going, it's going to take a couple days for sure. So I'm going to start on this one now. Couple days because it takes a couple hours to roast the tomatoes in your oven. And I just spray the pans. And then, and some of them that are close, I'm actually going to pick them. Um, so what you do is you spray your pan so they don't stick. And then my mother-in-law said that she just puts them in the pan, but my sister-in-law actually sprays them with like, I like drizzle oil on them and then roast them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then after you do that, you put them in a blender and you puree them so, uh, and then you can add your spices after that. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do what my sister-in-law does and make it that way. There goes hay that we sold. Um, I really do love gardening. It's very peaceful. I do struggle though with tomatoes because the smell that they produce kind of makes me sick. So I don't normally pick the tomatoes um, just because it just, and I don't know, it just doesn't make me feel, makes me have a headache. So I can only, Look at that. I'm going to have so many tomatoes. Holy cow. Um, but no, it's very peaceful. I'm kind of limited on time today just because Haley closes on her house today. And uh, so I'm kind of limited on how much I can do. So anyway, you wash your tomatoes. You take the stems off. And then you cut them in half. Put them on your greased pan. And... Then you roast them at 425. It takes about two hours. And you once you get them in the pan, you're really trying to get the liquid out of them. So you have to keep just kind of turning them. I'm making sure I don't sit on tomatoes because like that's what I want to do is have smushed tomatoes on my butt. There, I still have a lot of green ones. So hopefully we have a lot of, of um, summer left. Well, I mean, the summer's pretty much done, but at least the hot weather. We're supposed to get a heat up next week. So I'm just going to keep picking these tomatoes and uh, I have two bowls. I should have brought three bowls. They're just everywhere. And it makes my husband so happy. Sorry, guys. It makes my husband so happy when I utilize the garden he works so hard in. So I'm just going to get these tomatoes picked. And then um, off to the house to... I got three pans going right now. So we got to get these going. So I'm going to get picking. And then I'm going to have to come back because I'm not going to have enough bowls for this. So, whew, lots of tomatoes. All right, so I got two big bowls. I'm so tired, I almost dropped them. Now let's check on these. All right, so they look good. See how they got the liquid. So you just wanna keep stirring them around. So they're trying to get rid of that liquid. So we're trying to dry out the liquid. That's what we're doing. So as they as they roast, they're gonna kind of dehydrate them. And I'll just watch that liquid. If it gets to too much, I might have to drain some of it, but no, they smell really yummy, super yummy. I end up getting two bowls. I got these rinsed with water so they can be clean. Then I'm just gonna take the stems off and cut them in half and put them in a pan. So I'm actually tired still from bringing, oh, and look what I found. I gotta go pick all those pan squash too. We're gonna have to eat those this this week. So, whew, I'm super excited. This is new for me. Usually I just can them normally, um, but so this is kind of new for me. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna take my avocado spray, just put it on the bottom. And now all I'm gonna do is just take these out, take the stems, cut them in half. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, more oil on them. 
Yeah, these are beautiful. I did cut some. I did pick some that are almost but not all but not done. But the reason I did that is because our winters are kind of well, not our winter, our fall. Like it's getting um cold at night. So these are a little big. I'm actually gonna cut these a little bit more. So I mean I might have some half, you know, ripe ones, and then I might go out there and tomorrow they're donezo because they've gotten frostbit. So I did take ones that were close, but there's still a ton out there. This is so much easier than boiling them and peeling them and uh So uh, I'm super excited. I got so many tomatoes coming. I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna be making so much tomato sauce, but you know what? This is gonna save me. I mean, I, I, I when I go in the store, I get the spaghetti sauce that has no sugar added. And um, I grabbed the last six. So I'm assuming things are gonna get a little tougher. So I'm just gonna keep cutting these. And then when I get done with this, we will um, get them all old up. done um my roma tomatoes are absolutely beautiful i actually really like using the roma tomatoes because they're not as um watery so i'm just going to drizzle a little bit of oil on them i'll do my seasoning later and now i'm just going to put them in the oven look how beautiful these are oh my goodness so nice and then i actually put a towel underneath my cutting board because when you cut tomatoes juice goes everywhere and i'm so glad because all this juice would be on the ground so now I'm just waiting for the ones in the oven to get done and I'm going to start another pan of my Roma tomatoes and my, I think I have two kinds. I have an early girl and a Roma tomato. So I'm going to start the next one and I'm super excited to try this. It's, it, so it's going to probably be a two dayer. So I'm going to cut everything today, get it dried. And if I have time to actually make the sauce and then, cause I have to water bath it too. So um, I'm going to continue doing this get another one going and uh, I'm so excited. I, I just, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know I'll have spaghetti sauce. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't have to go through the grocery store anymore. Spaghetti sauce, that didn't work. But you know where I'm getting it from. <laughs> you know where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> I just checked on them. Um, they look like they're like kind of done, so I don't want to overdo them. There's still juice in the pan, but I think I'm going to pull them out, let them set, and then I can kind of scoop them out to put them in the, um, into the blender. And it smells so good with my glasses. When you have glasses. All right, so the tops are kind of getting brown, so I just want to, oh, you know, a lot of the juice is gone. That's perfect. And then we're going to stick these in there get these going all right so that top one looked really good so I guess the juices are starting to kind of go out of it that one has a little bit more and then the bottom one it looks like the juices are kind of going out of it too so yeah I mean I guess maybe another 30 minutes but I don't have a lot of time today so right, when you get these in here and get them cooking I turned up the heat too um, it's supposed to be at 450 and it was only at 400 and so I turned it up to 450 and it really started cooking them. So here, I'll bring you guys over here. So you can kind of see, hold on a second. Let me fix that. Kind of see like a lot of the juice is gone. I mean, there's a little bit in here. This one a little bit more, probably because I put a little bit too many tomatoes in it. But I also don't want it to be super thick, like to where you can't... Uh, you know, work with it with spaghetti. So I think it'll be fine. A little bit of juice is gonna be fine. It smells wonderful, wonderful. Let me come over here and show you. So I actually am gonna put garlic in mine, minced onion, and Italian seasoning. Um, my mother-in-law said that you have to let it cool for a little bit. So I'm just gonna let this cool for a little bit and then I'm gonna put it in my blender. And I wanna show you guys something. All my dishes are done. So I've been telling you about the podcast. Look what came in. 
my microphones and my muff. I think that like kind of muffles the sound. I don't know what it does, but it came with those. It, like it came with it. So I'm super excited to get going on that. Once these tomatoes have cooled a little bit, I'm gonna start blending them and making my sauce. And then I think what I might do is, even though the tomatoes have cooked, I might cook it in a big pot on low so the spices can kind of get into it. I was gonna add green peppers and onions to it, but I'm gonna do minced onions. Um, my husband doesn't like green peppers, so I don't wanna throw the green peppers in it. So I'm just gonna do just simply the spaghetti sauce and maybe if I make something that I want green peppers. I have red peppers too. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll roast some red peppers and put that in. I have to think about that because I'm kind of on a time crunch right now. But So anyway, we're gonna let these cool for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna put them in the blender and we're gonna blend it and make the spaghetti sauce. Let these cool for about 20 minutes and now we're going to make the... Um, they're down here so you guys can see them. Okay, so I'm going to do two tablespoons of garlic. All right, and let me get another tablespoon here. And then I'm going to do a tablespoon of minced onion. There we go. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of the Italian seasoning, which has, let's see, it has oregano, marjoram, thyme, basil, rosemary, and sage. I'm gonna do two of these. Okay. And so I'm just going to use my spatula and get these in here. Where's my spatula? All right, so we're just gonna put these right here in my mixer. This one did really well. Not a lot of juice in it. I picked as many tomatoes as I could. A lot of them are still green. I'm gonna have tomatoes all over the place. Usually we have to put them on the trailer. And uh, <sighs> let them set out on paper and they go, they go inside here. Now this one has a little bit more juice than the others. And I think that's okay because I can tell this is gonna be a little thick. Oh, I'm making a mess. All right, so now I'm gonna puree it in my, so my kids broke my little top thingy. So, all right, here we go. My blender is broken. Guess what mom needs? But look at I did some of this purify in this my food processor. Holy cow. It's so beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to make smaller batches and that's okay. So I'm gonna just do one garlic. That wasn't a full spoonful. One tablespoon and then one tablespoon of minced onion. Cause I, I think I doubled everything with the last one. That is so sad. I'm like, what in the world is going on? That's horrible. All right. So it is thick, just like my mother-in-law said, it is thick. So I might want these juices in here. Holy cow, I can't believe how beautiful that is. All right, so now you guys get to see this batch. Crazy! I turned it on, I was like, um, this isn't working. And I was able to get all of it in there and I thought, oh, this is gonna go right through the mixer. All right. Beautiful. I didn't, can't believe I got another batch going right now. I gotta start my dinner here soon, so. All right, I think that's good. Get the lid on this and process it, and then you guys can see it. I, I, I'm so excited, like you don't even know how excited I am. Maybe 
Man, if I could can a lot of this stuff, I mean, I would never need to, I mean, I, now I can make my own noodles too, honestly. I can make my own spaghetti noodles. All right, look at this, you guys. Come on up. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's put it on our thing here. Oh, man. Are you guys saying oh, man, too? Okay, let's just try it. Can you get a spoon? All right, I gotta try it. So see, that one's a little more soupier. This is so yummy. Okay, here we go. It's really good. Really good. You can taste like the, um, like the roasted part in there. Um, I would add salt. I think garlic salt would be good. So it's not, I like my stuff salty. Um, it's real tomato-y. Of course, it's, you know, roasted tomatoes. But I can tell the spices in it, which is really nice. But salt for sure. I think salt would be a good addition. So I think my next batch, I'm going to add um, some just plain, like, Himalayan salt. Oh, um, yeah, so beautiful. Just look at this. So beautiful. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we just made uh, spaghetti sauce together. So easy. So... I would do a pan with one tablespoon of garlic, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, your minced onion, and then I would also add salt, like a garlic salt or just like a regular kosher salt or a Himalaya salt. Um, and I mean, you could serve that. Like it's really, it's almost like you can make a soup out of it too. So I'm gonna have to whip up some tomato soup. So yeah, pretty good. All right, I'm so excited. And I can't, just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I want you. I want you. <laughs>